New at noon, families speaking out after a police chase ended in just a deadly crash in Homestead last year. Three teens died after a car ended up in a canal. And local 10 News reporter Joseph Ojo is live with those family members and what they're saying. They're now saying police are at fault. He also has new video of the chase. And it has been nearly two years since three teenagers died following a police chase in Homestead. Two of those teens who died, their family members along with attorneys gathered here today at the Miami-Dade County Courthouse to announce that they have filed a lawsuit. Now we want to go ahead and take a look at this new body camera video that was provided to us by the attorneys representing two of those teens who died. Let's listen in for a second. Let me see your hands. Open the door. Keep your hands up. Hello, elementary high school, 405. Keep your hands up. Don't move. So in that video, you can see Homestead police officers approach a car with four teens inside. They had pulled the car over for making a right turn at a red light without coming to a complete stop. Following the stop, officers lost sight of the vehicle and then a chase followed. Attorneys say that the car with the teens inside would crash through a barrier over a series of trees and land upside down in a canal. Now this all happened February 13th, 2021. The attorneys say they are filing this lawsuit because Homestead police officers acted recklessly when attempting to write just a minor traffic ticket, adding it's against police policy and officers should know that these kind of chases are dangerous and illegal. The attorneys are claiming three counts of wrongful death in their suit. The first count is for engaging in a high speed chase and causing the children to crash into the canal. Second count, failure to render aid to the children when they were in the canal. And a third count is for negligent hiring, retention, and failing to supervise what they call the problem officer who responded to the scene. No parent should ever have to bury their kid. It's one of the worst feelings in the world. And it's hard every day when I got to go to work and just picture my only son, my only boy has gone, has gone on my hands for some negligence or some cops. So these are images you're taking a look at of those two teens that uh, two of the teens that died that day is Rihanna Vargas and Terrence Valdivia. Attorneys tell us that Rihanna was trapped in the back seat of the car submerged underwater and that Terrence was ejected from the vehicle when it crashed. But still, officers did not render aid, leaving them to die. Now, Homestead Police has not verified this body camera video given to us by the attorneys. But in a statement on the lawsuit, they say our hearts and condolences go out to the family and friends of the deceased. As customary with open litigation, the Homestead Police Department will not be making will not be making any comments until its completion. We're live here in Miami. I'm Joseph Ojo, Local 10 News.